I'm going to paint this elephant. Let's take a look at the composition. Let's take a look. Uh, this is very good, uh, very helpful by using two hands, two fingers. Try to get your ideas first. Okay. Always look at the biggest composition, the biggest first. Okay. You need to know uh, where you're going to put the main objects. And also think about how much of the environment that you want to include. Okay. I think I get an idea. And let's see. Got a very light color. So the top over here would be like this. And the bottom over here. And then would be over here then. So by looking at the big shape, you can see the, um, the bottom of the ear is about, so I'm going to make the, the bottom of the nose over here. Don't worry about it. You may make it mistakes. Okay. There's as many ways that we can fix the mistakes with watercolor. And I think half is about here. What well, is also close to uh, what the T star. Okay, what about here? Now, after you know the bottom of the ears over here, that's pretty easy. Let's look at both ear together, form and very interesting shape. Like that. Shape. Right over here. All right. This is very good. We control the big and then we can control the small as we uh, developing. And after you do this, it's very easy to get the proportion. Yeah. Proportion also start from one step at a time. You can see from the ear over here, left to the right, and you can divide into three. Can you see that? Can you see divide into three? And the three, that means the middle, that's actually the head. Coming down like this, and all the way this. Look at the the angle coming, the angle of the center line like that. Okay, a little bit like this, and coming toward the center right over here. And on the left side, probably a little more in like that. And then the there's two coming here. I can make it a little bit longer. I think I like the longer better. And on this side, right over here, right? That's good. A little bit higher star. That's the mouth like that. Okay. That's all right. If you get this far, you're very good. You're very good with the steps following. Okay. That is the, the big rough composition. So I'm going to draw a little big shape. See that this, I'm going to at the E over here, have a little bit round over here. And on the other side, I'm going to make a little changes too. Like over here, just the top of the head. Right? And over here, I'm going to make it a little bit lower, slightly a little bit lower. Is that you can reserve your artistic license and do what it make it make the artwork look better okay like that okay now that's all right and the back is very easy right over here this is the the body here we go coming here that's the front leg The front leg can come in a little more actually because I extend the, the T, this two, a little bit longer. I like that. And uh, both T, I'm going to make sure I'm going to leave it, leave it light color, leave it white. And then there's the body, right? And there's the back leg right over here. And it's almost there, like uh, on this side. I just only need to draw one front leg like this. That's good. All other small details, we take care of that later.
right? Now let's do a little planning of the environment. It's very important. We have we haven't stopped painting yet. <laughs> we are just playing with the ideas for the composition. So I'm gonna have the the grass, the top over here, like this. And I'm also going to keep a little, a little tree. I'm going to only keep one tree over here, like that. That's fine. I, that's good. And maybe have a little bit over here, like that. So this one is a little bit lower. There's a little tea. A little tree, not tea. Um, and in the background, I do want to have a little mountain uh, over here, very distant mountain. And I will do that a little bit later, as after I have the sky finished. Okay, that's good. Let's start a painting. And what I would like to do, I'm going to use this one inch flat brush. I have my materials uh, information gathered on one single page inside enjoyingart.com. It's just go to enjoyingart.com and and then at the bottom of the home page, you will see a link, say tools and materials. Click over there, you can see all the tools and materials commonly used in my demonstration. Go there, take a look. Okay, uh, think about what is the sky color. See that is one thing at a time. Okay, just think about one little issues and you have to decide. And this looks like the middle of the day. Or you can change it any 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 weather, any time, uh, any time of the day if you want. I decided to have a little bit a little bit blue, but uh, probably a little bit purple. And let's try it. Okay. I have the blue color already here. I'm gonna get a little red. Let's see, a little red coming over here. I'm gonna see how this color look. I L actually I like this color more just a blue. So here you go. Let's start it. Start on the top over here. Okay. All right, painting around the shape. Okay, tap a little bit more and I'm gonna come in here. I think I'm going to brush through the shape of the tree because the tree is gonna be darker and and you're gonna be on top of that. That's fine, like this. And coming down on this side. And the left side and the right side doesn't have to be exactly the same. It's but need to be similar. Okay, like that. Take a look. If you get into the space of the ear on this side and shadow side, that will be fine. Okay, no panic, because the ear color in the shadow is just darker than the sky. So that is totally fine. The important thing is the two over here, making sure it remain to be lighter, right? Remain to be, just keep it the white color. Okay, now that's fine. Now the sky is, I think it's finished. A little bit somehow over here, it just a little, a little wider. I'm gonna just keep it like that. This could be fine as the final painting. Now I'm going to paint it into uh, the grass, right? It's very easy. Okay, what's the color for the grass? I'm going to have it a little bit brown, so like uh, change the season. A little bit more like uh, the, you know, the autumn. And have it like this first. So these two colors, it's very close together. Like that coming down. 
and on this side too. Uh, I want to do a little bit soft edge, so this is very good to have. I want the background color still wet, so coming down like this. At the front, I'm going to add a little bit green color, okay? A little bit green. So I'm going to get a little bit yellow. Okay, get the yellow color. Get a little blue color. This uh, red shade, uh, Windsor blue. So that's why when you have the yellow color mixed into it, because I have already have some red color inside this blue color, so it won't show as a bright, um, very bright uh, green color. Okay, I'm gonna have a little bit uh, dry brush at the front over here. That's good. look before you paint okay that's good like that wonderful brush through over here if I have a couple white line it actually looks interesting right okay get some yellow color get a little pleasant blue I'm gonna have a few line like this merge a little bit in here okay I think the background is almost done I do want a little bit dark color somewhere okay have a little red and a present blue that make it a pretty dark color I'm gonna have a little dark color over here like that so make it a little bit interesting and plus the light coming from on this side so I do want to have a little bit more suggestions uh, catch the shadow on this side like that on this side we don't have to have much okay that's good a little bit over here like that okay that's good enough maybe a little bit darker a little bit more just press the blue in here okay that all right let's clean the brush and And put it on the side. That probably from here I'm gonna go a little bit smaller brush. Yeah, like over here it's almost dry. But I did a good time. Let me use this uh, new brush that I just only use it in my last painting. I will also have the link directly to Amazon page of this product so you can take a look at it from Paul Rubin that's very good I'm gonna paint the the background okay this is a close to drive too and I'm going to have a little blue color for the mountain in the far distance it's not really blue color you need to be have a little bit uh, purplish color okay take that color like that a little gray fine and let's see Maybe the mountain over here. Let's see. I can get into the shadow of that. That actually could be perfect. That's fine. The reason I make this higher is I don't want to intersect at the exact corner. So like this, maybe over here too, and have a little bit. Suggestions could be mountain, right? I want to keep it like that. And I know this is transforming. And what I want to do, I'm going to quickly put some color on the leg and the nose over here first I'm gonna see yeah let's place the first run colors onto the elephant it's gray colors I got the gray color here already so I'm gonna put it on over here 
Let's see. Maybe it should be a little bit warmer. So get a little bit red color like that. It's good. Okay, that's good. Painting into the shape. Okay, that's good. Over here, this is the light side. And a little bit lighter over here, a little. Uh, even have some pretty light color on the nose. Okay, like that. Have some white in it, that should be fine. Okay. That's good. And I have a little light color. Uh, at this point, I'm going to lift up the little gray color here. And I want to have it onto this too. I'm going to lift it up, clean it up. You see how easy with watercolor, right? It's very easy to change this, very easy to correct. Okay, let's continue. And on the other side, need to be a little bit darker of this colors. Doesn't have to be exactly the same color, but it need to be similar. And now I'm gonna get some yellow color. There you go. And a little bit more red color, so I have a little bit warmer. And a little bit blue, that's fine. And maybe a little bit yellow because that's good. Nice on the body. Right over here. Mm. Maybe a little bit too much, so I'm gonna make it a little bit lighter. Just add a little water to it. It's just so easy, like that. Okay. And coming down here for the leg. Here you go. I'm gonna paint around the this two. Like that, that's good, take a look. Wonderful, I got it. Like that, that's good. Okay, and I'm gonna apply the same color on this side this leg okay I need a little bit more cleaning later on this side you don't know what you need to change until you have all the colors in the painting that apply to any medium and you should go through that and the changes adjustment that is the real challenge because you have to make a hard decision okay now i'm going to come in over here add a little bit darker tone in this area you can see there's a little bit darker like that so separate a little bit from the ear to the face like that on this side have a little bit darker color like that it's gonna be darker but for now it just have a little tone to it like over here I can just use the damp brush not really dry like that that's good and I can also make this a little bit lighter if I want just leave it up a little bit and also plus the elephant needs some texture right just lift it up like this and over here, I'm going to leave it a little bit coming through over here. It can be a little light on this side. Like that. Good. There you go. And this still all wet, but what I would want to do, I'm going to come back to give some suggestions to the, um, to my the grass. Take a look. I need to try something. I'm gonna use this. It whether or not it actually give me the scratch. 
a little bit too late. That's fine. I was not really total planning on it. So this is okay. What I would like to do now, I'm going to come back to the grass, take a look at from this color and this color, how I'm going to make the a little bit better separation, a little bit idea. And this is all almost dry. That's is good. All right. I'm going to have a little blue color. Okay. With the yellow color. This color doesn't have to be very thick. So a little bit more yellow. A little bit red. So I don't want the green colors looks too uh, saturated, too bright. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to put this on and see. This color definitely is going to end up darker than the color of the elephant. Right now, this the color over here, they're very close in the value. So I'm going to pull it a little bit apart. Um, Maybe a little bit too dark. So add a little water. Let's see. I put it up over here. Like that. Okay, you can soften the texture. Here you go. Now, I think the color composition would look better. And I'm going to add this color into the gap over here. That's good. And come out this side. I'm going to have this side a slightly a little bit lighter. So I'm going to add a little yellow color. A little bit more water. Okay, like this. But carry the similar colors as the other side. Like that. Have a little dry color. So every layer you're applying to add to the painting, it it, it contribute uh, in different uh, angle, different uh, light of the painting. I guess that's good. Now what I want to do, I'm going to um, put a little tree in the background. Okay, don't try to close the painting. Keep it open. That's fine. And I'm going to have this is a good color already for the tree. Okay, I'm going to have a little bit over here like that. Just use the brush like it almost uh, just right on the paper. We're gonna say, "We're welcome, accident." Like that, and let's take a look. Some tree like that. I'm gonna try to keep it like a little bit flat, not have it too much up there. Light side shadow side. Okay, a little bit leave enough space see through the tree like that. Okay, that one tree. What about here? I'm gonna keep a little bit over here. This is look interesting. Yeah. I need to come back to do a little more later after you dry. So that could be one interesting effect. And I'm going to use a little dark color to enforce the catch the shadow of the elephant um, right over here. Like that. That's good. Also a little bit. Suggest so to catch the shadows. Uh, colors for the uh, nose, the nose track. Okay, maybe just a little bit tap tap and have a little suggestions for the shadow. Okay, like right here. 
。確かに。Okay. Now we come back to the elephant. It's already drive. That's what's good. Now come back over here and I have、uh, mix a little dark color right there. Get the blue color. Get the red color. That's good. Now here you go. First, I'm going to shade、uh, the whole shadow side. Look before you paint. I think a little bit more blue. Okay. Inside the shadow, the dark colors, do you see a little translucent? Like that. Okay, take a look. Nice. Now come to touching the、uh, this two. So now you need to be a little bit careful. See the sheep. Okay, that's good. Like over here. That's good. There's the side. There's the eye over here. Now that's good shape. You might think about what about here? Okay. Yeah, we are going to paint into here. Okay, I'm gonna fill in a little light color over there later. Okay, like that. Here you go. Coming down to the nose like this, and then on this side, there's some catch the shadow from the nose onto this leg. Yep, and now coming over here. Okay, I don't want to touch too much into the grass, so keep a little distance. That would be a good idea. Like that. All right, so see them as shapes. Now on this side, right over here, that is the little. Darker color. Okay, we're not afraid of it, but be a little careful. Okay, now under here, that is the catch the shadow. Of the ear, like that. That's good. And some members are afraid of C shapes. They always make everything、uh, blur, soft together. Okay,、Just、try it. Just see them shapes and work on the edge later. Okay. Now coming here, looking for the shape. Where's the edge of the shape? Okay, I'm gonna coming down over here. Connect to the other side. All right, that looks good so far. Slowly. 
but keep it thoughtful. Okay, coming down. Holy. That's good. And a little bit of uh, the big line, but it's not too dark. And coming to the bottom over here, here you go. Look. And I'm going to change it to a little bit lighter. Just uh, let go most of the color. That's good. Don't need the much wet either. Okay, what I like to do coming here and coming over here. Now I'm gonna have it make a little bit softer. Yeah, let all the water get into this. That's okay. We're gonna see. And the eye over here, the whole area for the eye is actually a little bit darker. It's on the side of the face. So I'm gonna put just think bigger, the bigger structure before I think the detail. Like that. And over here, have a little bit darker and can connect with the wet color. And over here too, in the top, and here a little bit tongue a little bit. Now over here, it's just going to have a little wet get in here. Let the color connect together. That's fine. Like that. Okay. A little bit over here too. If it have some kind of water effect, that probably could be a good thing. We're gonna see. And some other connection, a little edges over here, and I'm also going to have a little bit of the texture of the skin, like this on the nose, right there. Now coming down here. There's a little bit soft transition because this looks like a cylinder, right? This. And on this side, make sure it knowing this is the tummy. Okay. And I'm going to add a little light, um, small shape onto the ear over here. Now the elephant coming along and then the tummy over here I'm gonna have a little bit suggestions over here first I have a little shading over here so make it a little bit more organized now come here I'm gonna have some the texture details on the nose and get a little bit smaller and smaller coming down like this that's good okay have your own idea based on observation and understanding Okay, you don't have to do like uh, copying every little details. You just you can be create uh, your own interpretations, your suggestions. Now let's get a little bit lighter and lighter those lines. So I just let go some of this and just have a little lighter. Okay, like that. And a little line on this side. Try an elephant, it's fun. Uh, one of my friends and my longtime member of Enjoying Art, 
she like to paint wild wild animal and she like to paint elephants too and last time when she last month when she painted elephants i gave her suggestions on how to uh, enforce the light source uh, create a little stronger lighting here yeah, to avoid the look of flat so that was the main inspiration that i gonna do this painting and i'm gonna ship it to her as my gift for the holiday okay like that and and I'm also gonna have the a little blue as I look at the catch the shadow a little blue over here and star over here on the top that's the catch the shadow for the uh, for the T for this two okay like that I'm gonna see how I'm gonna suggest the grass on the top. But at this point, what I'd like to do, I'm gonna have a little darker colors in the shadow side. Right over here. All right, now I'm gonna, this is the suggestion for the eye. And Coming back here, I'm gonna have to catch the shadow of this. Coming suggestions for the nose here. That's good. Hey, right. now coming to on this side. Let's see harder inside the catch the shadow i think a little bit blue over here on the top here okay a little bit here you go look at it again and and i'm gonna have some shape lighter shape inside the dark area like that a lot of big shape over here like that and this can be a little clear now I can wanna another layer make a little clear a little big line coming over here that's good okay now I'm gonna make it come back to for the catch the shadow on this side it can be a little bit darker okay I'm gonna have a little more color more red plus some blue and in here that's good a few line like that that's good and over here too even darker okay here a little bit darker and um, I don't want to over promote uh, the enjoying our artist community is I created years ago and that's my dream to having a group of artists to working with me and to promote the learning of watercolor or the learning of painting and we are going to stick together grow all together and as well as we're sharing 100% um, 
honestly with each other and I'm gonna put the eye over here look again you don't see the eye wide and you don't see the uh, iris from the side so just a little suggestion like that people will get it it's gonna oh this is the eye okay. this brush is a very good quality and very easy to use so if you want to take a look at it they're not sponsor me anything okay I just try to share the things that I already use and is good quality and I this is not that expensive either just take a look I have the link in the video descriptions and make your own decisions don't just listen to me okay okay over here and I think that color need to be a little bit darker okay but I'll take care of that and the next one right now try to organize now let's see I'm gonna just just clean my brush and I'm gonna soften this the top over here like that that's good a little bit softer over here And a little bit soft here too. Okay, get a little color on this side. Like that. And also a little bit brown color. Okay, get a little yellow color, a little red, and then there's the brown color. So I'm gonna have a little light brown color, maybe a little red little bit I'm gonna just put it right over here just very thin just brush it over here I know it's maybe a little bit too dark and so I'm going to clean that I'm gonna create that okay like that now when I want I'm gonna just with the water just soften a little bit soften this color a little bit and see how easy layer over layer and if you don't damage the paper you can keep working on it okay that's good I'm gonna soften a little bit here I think that here is a squirrel here it's very soft okay that's good that let's see the head over here and I think getting there getting somewhere looks nice all right I'm going to work uh, I'm gonna soften this before I start working in the tea okay I'm gonna soften this first The watercolor paper I'm using is Arches watercolor paper. I bought the whole sheet and I cut it down to smaller. And I'm also going to use this fabric shape, small fabric shape, half inch. Now I'm going to actually create a little clear separation that is this and then turn to the ear. But this is the top of the uh, scowl. And so I'm going to do a little lifting over here. With the lifting and the different look of texture, the people would create the proper uh, connection with your artwork. Now that's good. And soft over here. That was what I try, try to what I tried to get. Okay, this is on the other side of the top. Okay, make sure you get 
the correct connection that people would feel like yeah I'm getting it okay I'm going to have this a little bit later too also in my material page I especially include this brush which is I like so much I use almost every single time to help me to organize the color that's good mm, I'm going to soften that a little bit now I'm going to come back to the edge over here I need to uh, reorganize that shape a little bit better and the bottom it come out a little bit too much so get the red color and the blue color here you go I use the plus and blue is actually a little bit darker okay. red and plus and blue so it's a little bit more uh, a little bit more neutral a gray color than having the red shade blue okay now I come in here now is the time I think that I can come in a little bit like that that's good and over here I can come in a little bit like that and also this part can move down a little bit first I'm showing you how I uh, change so I'm gonna move this down a little bit I'm gonna soften this I'm gonna apply a new color here you see that it's very easy so what I want to do later if you have the right tool the correct colors and the right mindset and you can change things very easily okay now what I want also going to give a little bit later on the nose here a little bit sometimes it make a huge difference now also have a little bit darker have a little red too much blue and but I don't want it to be too much paint or too dark just make the nice tip you see that very nice tip so what I want on the nose over right here have a little thin line coming through like this good very nice divide your painting process into small steps and make your painting experience a lot more relaxing and simple Okay, like that now the nose look a little bit pop a little bit more I think I'm gonna have a little bit lighter so don't need to be so dark have a little bit more water into here okay and coming here a little bit lighter so I'm not going to keep going but at the vertical I see the little light some shadow over here like that right, very simple and you may think you that's right you think it's very simple but if you think simple it actually simple it actually simple okay it's not because I say it's simple and you are not afraid of it and you can do it it's just follow this step now I'm gonna come back to fix 
I'm gonna have a little gray color like that right over here. Let's see. That's good. And a little color coming on this side like this. That's already already done. That's good. Now on this side I'm gonna have a little blue color and then get into I'm gonna make it a little bit dimmer. And also open up a little bit. See that? That's the suggestions. Very good. Okay, what I would want to do to walk into the T. I'm going to have this shadow side. And first, I'm going to also have the local color, or the brown color, right here. Like that on this side. And I'm going to add the catch the shadow. The shadow. I'm gonna make this a little bit lighter too inside the shadow of uh, the the elephant too. Okay. And the bottom over here I can see a little bit here on the side here. Like that. Nice. On this side. as the shadow like this and maybe a little bit darker and maybe a little bit darker especially at the top of it here okay and I'm gonna add a little bit uh, warm color that's the color right over here at the top Okay, a little bit texture. You see how, rela how relaxing a painting experience can be, right? Is and you know, follow this step. You can paint with me. And even better, if you want, start joining us. You know, joining us doing the, doing a painting every week, or even every day. So, I'm going to come into, I'm going to come into here later. I'm going to wrap around this catch the shadow over there. But for now, I'm going to come back to here. Keep a little bit. Redefine this. Okay, that's good. Also, I can see. The light color. Okay, now coming back over here. Now move this in here like that. Okay, good. Now I have a little bit and like that pretty clear and I have a little very thin line like this very easy to control okay if you feel like oh I just can't get the proportion correctly. So you know what? Spend more time and follow my process and you can get it. On the whole shadow side, I don't want to be, I want to make it a little bit darker and connect it. So I'm gonna wash another layer on the top. And at the same time, I want to uh, this looks very smooth after I'm going to change it a little bit 
like this, coming down a little more. Okay, now look more organized as a shadow. That's good. A bit here too. Like that. Now it's getting together very nicely. Now, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna have a lot of cool gray color. Now, now I wanna wrap around over here. Suggest the catch to shadow make this uh, two looks around it like that looks good maybe a little bit darker even okay, like that yeah, that's good okay. Now I'm going to come to uh, the background, take a look, and I'm, I'm going to get to the background here, a little yellow, I'm going to give it a little bit, suggestions here, for this is the tree. Okay, that's good. Something like that, a little softer. That's all right. I'm gonna have a little bit uh, warmer color for the, for the tree trunk. But I don't want it to be too warm. In that case, look too close. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Like that. Like that. This looks good. Maybe a little bit too obvious. I'm gonna soften a little bit here. Okay. I think this tree looks fine. And that definitely look like mountain. <laughs> okay. For the grass, I want to do a little uh, lifting. Okay, let's see. I'm going to lift a little bit thin line over here. Okay, it's very magical when you think about lifting and if you believe you can do it and you actually can do it. Some, something that is totally controlled by your belief. And I'm gonna have the line. Just focus. I'm gonna have a little bit here. Okay, a little bit here, connect that in the grass. There's a lot of suggestions and it would deliver the impression. The grass here. This is the foreground. So I want to have a little, a few thin lines. A little bit over here. They're probably good. And over here, I'm going to have a couple lines. Now I'm going to be a little careful, I'm going to lift it very, very thin, like that. Nice. Very thin. I make it 
make you feel like this is actually the grass at the front. Okay, a couple more. Just use the tip. Just like that. Just like this. Okay. Nice. Maybe one more over here. Just persistent. Use the tip on that. That part be very good. Different angle. You know the front over here. I'm gonna have a little bit later like that. Make it look like more grass on the t on the front. Okay, like this. Okay, also on the side over here, I'm going to have a little bit more. As soon as you have the texture, it will look like what you mean. Okay, I'm going to add the yellow color into this new light color. Make it over here too. I'm going to do a little more like that. Have the soft edges. interesting right okay and the back over here I'm gonna light up a little bit and also make it look softer okay I'm gonna have this dark color also a little bit softer to create a distance and also the edge over here I'm gonna have a little bit lighter too That's good. I like that. A little bit lighter. Alternate. Okay. Now let's see. I need to lift up the color in here. So now you see, I make quite a bit of changes from the reference and uh, you can do it and I'm also going to have this a little bit lighter so I'm going to lift it up make it a little lighter as well no problem so you see in my whole painting process I'm not thinking about white color and I Honestly, I don't have white color in my palette, but this is fine. But it doesn't mean white color is evil. Yeah, white color is white. White color is good. If you like, to get used to uh, using white paint as a part of your palette. Uh, this is good. Many famous artists, they always use white color. It's your personal choice. Just like some people use palette night, some people don't. It doesn't really mean the people use palette knife is bad or the people use not using palette knife is bad. So it's totally your choice for tools. Okay. And the top over here I'm gonna have a little bit more turning. So just make the catch the shadow. Make the shadow side a little bit darker. Okay. And on here. And the top over here have a little bit brown colors. I'm gonna make sure I have a little bit like this, a little bit sharper. A few lines over here.
Okay, a little bit darker, sharper line. Good. And under here, I don't want to, I want to lift up a little bit. Right over here. So it's showing the actually coming down and continue coming in here. And that's good. Now this painting is finished.